What is going on crew? Today we are going to help you find a great blog domain name and a great name for your blog. If you haven't selected your blogging niche, go back and look through our videos for finding kind of the perfect blog niche. Uh, my name is Alex Nerny. I'm the co-founder of Avocado and Create and Go and let's hop into it. So the biggest point that I can give you just right off the bat is that what your content says about you is way more important than your name. Google, Twitter, Yahoo, these are made up words, but we understand what they represent because of the content they produce, because of the software they produce, because of the things that they do. The things that you do defines you, not the things you say you do. So be very clear about that. And just to give you a good example, you know, here's how to come up with a great blog name, and we're gonna do it in a way that you can come up with a bunch of blog name ideas in 30 minutes or less. But the first lesson I should talk to you about is that most normal domain names are going, or ideas you have will be taken and you should be prepared for this. The domain name though, it will matter very little to what content you are creating, so don't be too worried about it. For example, our successful blog that makes over 10 grand a month consistently is avocado.com. That's one word, four syllables, easily forgettable. Honestly, it's, uh, it's not the greatest domain name. We really like it now, but um, that, that's just you know being honest and frank about it. It's certainly not perfect. We took avocado, we scratched out the O, and we put a U on it. Um, but it's not, it's not perfect, but we still do very well with the blog. So guys, again, I'm just saying that so you're not stressing out like over trying to hunt down the perfect domain name. Again, what you do defines you, not what you say you do. So... Lesson number two is to use a .com or a .co. There's a bunch of <laughs> softwares or, or companies that have been popping up lately that have weird domain names. Like they'll do like a, a create, uh, create and go dot fitness or create and go dot um, you know dot tips or dot uh, ly or dot ca, and they're frankly really weird. The problem is is that uh, there's still enough .coms out there and there's .co's that you should not be grabbing those weird domain names. Uh, it's gonna look always kind of unprofessional for a long, long time until kind of all the .coms run out and the .co's. Thankfully, companies like Twitter.co made the .co popular, and that's why we run the blog createandgo.co, just to give you some reference. There will also be more .co no names. There will also be more .co names in the future, so be aware of that. If if you have to decide, um, if you have a great name for your blog and the .com's not there, but the .co is, you'll be okay with the .co. So don't don't sweat it again. Okay, let's get your great blog domain name in 30 minutes or less. So the example that I used is we are coming up with a name for a parenting blog okay this is going to be uh, if, if your name just put yourself in the shoes of this person your name is Kim and you're interested in starting a parenting blog this is the best way to come up with your domain name the first thing you want to do is gather a list of random words related to your niche so going back to the parenting uh, example things like parenting parents kids children parenting tips raising kids home you really just want to get either a piece of paper or a spreadsheet and just write all the names you can think of and just do it for five minutes. Don't spend 30 minutes trying to come up with every name you can. Just the first five minutes of things that just pop into your head. Step number two, now run these words are the ones you like the most through thesaurus.com and gather even more words and ideas. And when you do this, you'll come up with things like producer, mother, guardian, folks, creator, source, boy, girl, adolescent, youngster, offspring, household. These are the things that you'll come up with by running them through th thesaurus. So now you'll have kind of a big list of probably 20 to 50 different words. Step number three, now you can think of some slang words as well. Now, now it's time to get a little bit of fun with it, right? You know, things like kiddos, rents. Parental units, parent trap, or casa. You know, think of some slang words to describe what you do in, the, in these things. Your blog should ultimately be fun and something that you enjoy. So don't shy away from using things like that. Uh, the, only, the only, okay, I, I, I should add a, a caveat to that. 
if you were running like a financial blog or a stock tips blog or something like that and giving very serious professional advice to people, you probably shouldn't use slang. But in general, for about 95% of bloggers, slang words are going to be okay. Step number four, add your name into the mix as well as uh, some nouns for what you do. So again, name is Kim. So Kim, Kimmy, cook, clean, teach, love, nurture, help, and guide. So these are all great nouns and you can use your name in the mix. So again, you should have just a spreadsheet or write it on a piece of paper. You should have a lot of words there right now. And then finally what you want to do is you want to do step number five. You'll go, to gra you'll go and grab some descriptive words from this list and decide and describe you or your future blog. Go to createandgo.co backslash great blog name. We'll have it linked in the description as well as in the comments section. And you can just go here and the, the, the actual URL, oops, I, I've gone. Sorry, I need to make this thing float. Float. Okay, cool. When, uh, when you click here on this, it's going to pop up and there's just adjectives here and describing certain things. So come up with a few that describe you or what you want your future blog to be about. So in this example, beautiful, friendly, maternal, passionate, resourceful, we're all great adjectives and descriptive words. And so that's all you got to do. You just got to gather up a bunch of words to choose from. And then this, this final part is you just got to get create. Oh, sorry. One more step. And this should be step number six. Finally, get creative and make up a few words on your own. Again, sort of like the slang thing, but parentized, momzilla, mommyist, homier. One of the biggest health and fitness websites is greatest.com, but it's greatest misspelled with an I-S-T. So again, it, it, it doesn't matter as much as you think. So you can get, get creative here. But at this point, you should have a long uh, list of words to choose from, probably about a, a hundred different words or 100 to 70 different, 70 to 100 different words. Okay, so step number six. Now it's easy as putting a few of these words together and trying out the domain to see if it's available. So again, go to createandgo.co backslash blog name and you can do this all right here. We have a free tool um, for Bluehost that you can, pup, you can put in, try out your domain name, and check availability. And please don't get discouraged if you try a few things and it doesn't work. You know, again, sometimes it's just about getting a little creative. One is kimmyshome.com, mommiesandkiddos.com, homiercasa.com, high-level parenting, nurtured youngins, Kim's finally home, Kim's parent trap, resourceful mama, these are all great blog names for a parenting blog. And, and again, just keep in mind that it's the, the content that you produce that matters way more than uh, your blog name. Although I do like all of these. They'd be a lot of fun. Uh, and if you're ready to go ahead and start your blog, again, you can come down here, check the availability, and we can help you out walking you through the steps of starting your blog from scratch. We give you everything step-by-step -step formula um, just for you, and that will also be available in the description and in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you wouldn't mind just subscribing, hitting that like button, or leaving a comment, or doing all three if you felt particularly um, uh, happy with this post. That would be really great. Um, it helps YouTube see that we're a good channel and helps me create more content for you guys. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Good luck selecting your blog name. I'll be excited to see what you come up with.